I truly said I was never working on Europeans and guess what? I'm working this 2022 Toyota Pro HCD full electric, but hear this, something is wrong. This is not a Toyota Cardo kind of crap. This is the Peugeot Traveler. So yes, it's an European with the Toyota symbol. What is going on is that this vehicle, this vehicle is less than 2000 kilometers and the vehicle stopped because the high voltage system is given a insulation fault. Can you freaking believe that it's happening? So what I'm doing is scanning the vehicle. Let's see what we get. Every time you switch on the ignition, electric traction system fault. Stop the vehicle and see the onboard documents. This is a new car. Why is this happening? Clearly, because it's European, what do you expect? I'll keep you guys posted because scanning this European vehicle takes a lot of time. Information sent by the onboard charger, can traction battery ECU, insulation of the power voltage, internal uh, or external battery, earth, intermittent. Oh, this is not good, although it's telling me intermittent. Traction battery sales, traction battery, direct current converter, DC to DC converter, traction battery, traction battery. Traction. What in the world? Clear all this bunch of accumulated codes. Uh, it was nothing permanent. The vehicle is on right now. And it's actually the vehicle can move at the moment, which is great. Let's go for a test drive. Okay, here we go. Parking brake. Put it in drive. It's ready to move. Uh, drive. All right. Driving so far so good right now. But I'm going to keep driving for a little while. See if all this bunch of crazy intermittent codes come. Because... No permanent codes yet, you know. So far, so good. Let's put a park. That's it. She actually not showing me any codes at the moment and the vehicle is driving just fine. So what we're gonna do with this 2022 Toyota Pro Ace, which is it's not Toyota Pro Ace. This is a Peugeot Traveler, but it's a full EV car. Let's just allow the customers to drive this vehicle a little bit more to see if the fault code comes because so far it's driving fine and not doing absolutely anything because all the codes that came in were intermittent. Hmm, surprise. <laughs> Stick around, I'll see you then.